Hello and welcome to Minecraft Made Easy. My name is Peter and I will be your host. Go ahead and hit the play button on the title screen here. We're going to create new, create new world. We're not going to mess with any of the advanced stuff. We're just going to do the basics here. Okay. Now you want a survival game mode. That should be the default and normal difficulty is fine. I like to play on hard, uh, but we'll do normal for the sake of this tutorial. You can do easy if you want. Turn off the starting map, leave off the bonus chest. And then down here, we want to turn on show coordinates and off fire spreads. Those are all the settings that uh, you'll basically be the same as me. And then we could hit create world. That would generate a random world and you might get something different than I will. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go down here to seed. If you want to play along with me, click into here and enter this number 101 18 24. What that's going to do is that's going to give you the exact same world that I get in this video and then uh, you can follow along and play with me. So I'm playing this uh, the bedrock version 1.18. Um, that's the current version at the end of 2021 beginning of 2022 and it's the same for Java and bedrock in almost every way. There are a couple of minor differences and if you don't know what version you have that's fine. You could be playing on a PC, an Xbox, a PlayStation or a Nintendo Switch and uh, you should get the same experience as me. I'm playing on a Nintendo Switch, but that's besides the point. Okay, here's our world. I am looking with the right stick, okay, and moving with the left stick, all right? It's a first person game. I see an oak tree here. I see a spruce tree here. Uh, I see some birch trees across the way. Those are the white bark ones over there. Ooh, and I see a sheep down there uh, by the edge of the water. Uh, the first thing we wanna do though is we wanna punch a couple of trees. That's very important in Minecraft. Um, so we're gonna, I'm pressing the B button to jump to the top of this tree here and then I'm gonna hold the ZR button while I'm looking down and I'm just gonna punch straight down through the trunk of this tree. Now every time I break one of the logs, the oak log blocks, you can see that it goes into my inventory. It's in my hotbar on the bottom of the screen there. Hold the ZR button down, you'll get the same experience, okay? And uh, then you can just mine your way out. Let's punch this leaf and uh, we'll hop on top of this oak tree and do the same thing. And once we punch two trees, we should have enough wood just to get going. And that will be fine. Uh, we're really in kind of a race against time. There's a day night cycle in this game and uh, it's not super lengthy. So once it becomes night, um, bad guys will generate and uh, they will try and hurt you. Okay, so there's a sheep. Hello, sheep. And uh, over here, I see some stone. So I just sort of ran down the hill and uh, here's some exposed smooth stone. That's gonna be helpful for us. But let's press the X button and go into our inventory here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, one of these logs, okay? Just one, I picked up half with Y and then I placed one with Y again. And then I put them all down with the A button. But you can take one of these oak logs and put it up here. And then if you craft it, it will become one oak log. It will become four oak wood planks. Then we can put one in each corner of this thing and get a crafting table. Okay, I crafted that. Now I have a crafting table in my inventory. See that? See, I'm swinging it at you right now. Okay, so you could press the ZL button to put it down and then the ZL button again to interact with it. And now we have a three by three crafting interface up here, which is very interesting indeed. Uh, we could turn off the recipe book. How do we do that? There we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's take all of these logs and put them in here and we can make them all oak wood planks. Uh, so seven times four is 28. And then if we put, I don't know, five uh, and five, we'll get 20 sticks. And 20 sticks is a pretty good starting amount. We can use two of those sticks and three of our remaining wood planks to make a wooden pickaxe. You see, I sort of drew the shape of it there and there it is. So we grab that and now, we can mine this stone. Hold the ZR button down when you're looking at a piece of stone and holding a pickaxe, and it will drop a piece of cobblestone, which we now have our, our inventory. Uh, if we do the same thing to make a wooden pickaxe with cobblestone instead, we can make a stone pickaxe. See that? And now this is an upgrade. This is a promotion. Uh, these blocks mine faster with a stone pickaxe, and the stone pickaxe lasts longer, is more durable. So that's really a good thing. Our next goal should be to mine 20 pieces of this cobblestone and uh, or so, and then I'll show you what we can build with those. Uh, they are going into my inventory. Let's press the X button to check it out. There's 21 up here, okay? If I press the X button there again, it will go into my inventory or into my hotbar and I can see how many I have. All right, uh, 
let's use these stone and these sticks to build some stuff. Okay, if I put one stick here and two stone here, I can build a sword. That's very nice, okay. Uh, how about two sticks and three stone like this, and that's an axe, okay. Uh, two more sticks and a stone up here, that is a shovel, right. And then two more sticks and two pieces of stone like this, that's a hoe, okay. Very good, and then we'll make one extra pickaxe because we will go through our first pickaxe and it will break and we'll be glad to have a second one. And then finally, let's draw a donut like this with pieces of stone and we can make a furnace. Okay, I'm gonna grab that furnace and then I'm gonna use my ax to chop the crafting table. And when that breaks, it will go into my inventory there and now I have it uh, down here. Okay, let's take all of these things out of our hot bar and into the inventory and then let's put them back using, I'm using the uh, X button here. We're gonna go sword first, then pickaxe, then shovel, then axe, then hoe. Okay, and then I like to have the backup pickaxe above the regular pickaxe and then the backup backup, which is the wooden one there. And then we're gonna need these soon and usually what I do here is food and here torches, but we don't have either of those yet and that's okay. Sticks usually go here, so I'm gonna stick those there for now. And speaking of food, uh, let's hit this uh, pig with our sword a couple of times and he will drop uh, raw pork, raw pork chop, okay? Uh, see that? That's a raw pork chop. Raw pork chop will uh, bring you some of your health back, uh, but not as much as a cooked pork chop. So that's going to be our goal is to cook some pork chops. All right. Now using our stone shovel, we get, oh, look, I see foxes. Oh, and I see some angry wolves. That wolf is going to attack that fox. What a terrible thing. We could attack those wolves, uh, but then they would turn on us. Oh, they killed the fox. That's a shame. Uh, that's the kind of thing that happens in Minecraft. Minecraft is a world that uh, operates on its own, whether you're interacting with it or not, which is kind of cool and very uh, immersive. We're going to dig up some of this dirt here because we're going to need it um, over by the water so we can start some farming and get some sustainable uh, food going for ourselves. Also, you may have noticed these berry bushes over here. If you ZL click on these, doesn't matter if you're holding a shovel or not, Berries will pop out, and uh, if you're standing close enough, they will get sucked into your inventory, and then you have them. You can eat them, and they're a decent food source in the beginning of the game, but you don't want to stand too close to these, because they, they, uh, they'll hurt you. Ouch. See? I just got hurt. Okay, now if you punch these uh, smaller little tufts of grass, uh, they will break, and sometimes they drop seeds, and uh, getting a few seeds would be a good idea food-wise for us here in the beginning of the game as well. So I'm just going to keep punching these, moving around using Z, R, uh, punching pieces of grass, looking for seeds. Do we have any? We haven't gotten any yet. Um, you can start with just one, although it's usually good to get a few. Uh, but one will do. There's one. See, uh, there's two. Now we have two in our inventory. That's great. This is an oak sapling that dropped from the oak tree that we punched earlier in the game. Now we could plant that in the ground with ZL, and a new oak tree will grow there in time. Uh, so we can be sustainable. We can be environmental, uh, if that's your thing. So that's real nice. Okay, uh, we're going to build a little farm here, but this sand is sort of in our way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this dirt and put it down. I'm holding ZL and walking forward. And that just places all those dirt blocks there. Okay, we can do that here as well. Um, and then if we wanted to use our shovel and dig up some of the sand, we could do that. And replace it with dirt. Uh, you can't plant crops in sand, but you can plant them in dirt. This is just one of the many rules of Minecraft. Uh, that is good to know. Watch out, dog. Don't get mad at me. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to survive here. Okay, place a couple of more pieces of dirt and then a row here. We'll finish up this row, and here's our fourth row. Four is as far away as you want to get from the water. You are really in the way, my man. We ran out of dirt, so let's grab some more. Uh, and we'll use that to finish up the job, and then we can plant our seeds. Well, there's one step before we plant our seeds. One additional step, and I'll show you what that is. Okay, we're gonna, the wolf has moved out of the way. We're going to finish that, and then we're going to take our stone hoe, and we're going to till the land here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I'm holding ZL, I'm tilling the land, and we're gonna plant a seed here and a seed here. 
Okay, now those can grow. They're near the water, uh, so this tilled land will be moist. It'll moisturize, and that is a real good thing. Okay, now here we are at zero. Uh, Z value zero. These are your coordinates up here in the top left-hand corner. Negative 30, uh, 63, and zero. So the first number is your X value. That's how far east or west you are of the middle of the world. The last value is your Z value. That's how north or south you are of the middle of the world. And the middle number is your elevation in the world. So we can dig down and decrease in elevation, or we could climb up hills and mountains and increase in elevation. Uh, but for right now, we're concerned about getting to X0, zero, Z0, zero, so that we never get totally lost in the world. Uh, and we're approaching it pretty rapidly here. Uh, I believe it's right here. Okay, so this will be where we hide out tonight, is in this little spot. Now we can make that bigger, of course. Um, but for now, a little bit will do. And uh, let's go ahead and hit this cow with our sword so we can get some beef and maybe even some leather. Uh, that will help us survive. Now, let's cut down a couple of trees here real quick uh, before the sun sets too much. Oaks are good trees to start with because they're easy to cut down. They're not too tall. Spruce trees tend to be tall. Uh, birch usually aren't, but um, they can be. But oak is just like... It was the first tree that was in the game years ago when the game only had one kind of tree. Or maybe it had more than one kind of tree in the very beginning and uh, I don't know. But oak is like the basic tree. Uh, but we do need some more logs uh, before we tuck into our hidey hole for the night. Uh, now it's good to use the axe on wood. It's more effective than a shovel or a sword or a pickaxe or a hoe. Uh, but certain tools are good for certain objects. Okay, you can see it's getting dark. So we're going to go uh, into our spot where I said we would go. We're going to punch these couple of pieces of grass here. Okay, now we're in here. But boy, it's dark. Let's place a piece of, a piece of dirt there so it's less likely that something can get in. And uh, let's go ahead and use our shovel and dig out just a little bit more space and use our pickaxe and dig out a couple of pieces of stone here. We're going to create ourselves a small little room. Okay, I know it's getting real dark, but what we're going to do here is we're going to place down our uh, our crafting bench and our furnace. Okay, like so, and like so. Now, in the furnace, what you do is you want to put three oak logs, or any kind of log, into the top, and uh, two planks, any kind of plank in the bottom. Now, this is your fuel, and this is what you're burning into something that will be the output over here. We're going to make charcoal by burning logs with planks. And charcoal is great because while two planks will make three pieces of charcoal out of three logs, one charcoal will make eight pieces of charcoal out of eight logs all by itself. It burns more efficiently. It burns longer. Okay, we're going to stick charcoal here. Um, charcoal is not only a useful bit of fuel, it is also uh, provides light. So now that we have three charcoal, let's put one up into our crafting interface up there. This is just our two by two. We're not using the crafting bench right now. And a stick below it. And that is a torch. Uh, for one stick and one charcoal, you get four torches. And we could place a torch here. And now we have some light, which is very nice. Uh, we were scared and lost and uh, afraid. Uh, but now we have some light, which is really good news. I'm going to put a piece of dirt on the outside of this here. So this is kind of a real uh, little doorway. And we're going to stick a torch over the top of it, too, so we can find this home in the dark if we want. And then we will plug this up, and not a moment too soon, with some dirt. Because look, there's a zombie. He wants to poke us in the eyeballs and eat our brains. So we're going to place a piece of dirt there. He can't get at us. We're nice and safe in here. What we're going to do is we're going to stick... Um, some beef in here. We can cook three beef with two planks. So let's go ahead and do that and then we can eat the food and replenish our uh, hunger, which is down here. Um, but it's already full. But we can replenish it later if we need to. That will replenish our health if uh, that drops as well. So that's sort of the first day. Get wood, get stone, make tools, uh, and get maybe a little bit of food, start a farm. I will show you guys what to do on your first night in the next episode. Uh, hit the like button, please. That lets me know that this stuff is useful, valuable, entertaining, whatever else for you, and encourages me to keep going. And I will see you guys all real soon in the basement.